Jeff, you, you, you TikToking me on. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Armor Class 10. Odds are, if you've seen me wearing a cool TTRPG-related shirt on the show, it's from Armor Class 10. They have a large selection of short and long sleeve shirts, hoodies, boxers, and even kids' clothes. Head to armorclass10.com to snag one of these designs for yourself and use code SANDWICH for 10% off your purchase. Without further ado, let's get things started with our roll for bread. Two, white bread. There are many fancier and healthier breads out there, but sometimes it's nice to come back to just a couple slices of soft white bread. Next up, let's roll for main. Five, refried beans. So close to a vegetarian main, but uh, traditional refried beans contain lard. So not vegetarian. This will not be the first time I've had refried beans on a sandwich. I've had quite a few delicious Mexican tortas with refried beans on them, but I've also had refried beans on the show before. It was not that great. We're gonna heat up our beans a little bit and then we're gonna spread them on our soft white bread. So far this sandwich really could go either way. Right now it's a good base for a lot of flavors, but also could end up not being great. Really gonna depend on what else we roll. Next up, let's roll for our cheese. Six, Parmesan Reggiano. This two-year-aged Parmesan is very low moisture and has a nutty flavor. Today, I think we'll grate it as the grated Parmesan will stick nicely to the beans. Flavor-wise, we're still looking pretty good here. If we by chance were to get something that let us melt the cheese, that would kind of be a bummer with this one because this low moisture cheese won't melt that well and melty cheese is good with beans. All in all though, not a bad roll. I will take it. All right, let's roll our roughage. Two romaine and four green onion. Well, the romaine lettuce isn't gonna add much flavor for us, but we'll add a little bit of crunch, which is nice because right now all we've got is pretty much mush. So maybe an improvement on texture. The green onion should impart a nice flavor for us. I've cut them in kind of long pieces so that they don't roll off the sandwich as easily. And they'll give us just a little mild bite, which should be good here. Time to hit it with a little chaos with the wild magic roll. Eight, mushroom jerky. You heard that right, this is jerky made from mushrooms. I saw it on the shelf at the store and thought, sure, why not? It looks like beef jerky and a little bit like something else. This particular mushroom jerky is zesty Thai flavored. We will find out if that's a good thing. And last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 16, roasted sesame dressing. This dressing comes from the same Japanese company as the mayo I'm so fond of and has a nice creamy umami flavor. Umami definitely seems to be the theme of this sandwich. From the mushrooms to the beans, even the aged Parmesan has a lot of it. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it chopped in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. It's a cross section. While there doesn't seem to be anything outright offensive on this sandwich, it's just kind of a weird one. Only thing left to do is give it a taste. Here we go. You know, that mushroom is a bit to chew through. Okay. Overall, taste isn't bad. The seasoning on that mushroom jerky keeps it from being like super mushroomy, but it's a little sweet for my taste. I think the major issues with this one is the texture. Mostly mush with really chewy jerky. I don't hate it, but it stands to be improved. I'm gonna say 6.2 today, and I'm gonna call it the Umami Bomb. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again on Friday.